Friday night out in Tel Aviv, Israel, we have Bellator 209, and now it's time to break down the Komen event. It features Ryan Couture and Haim Gonzali. They've actually fought before, so this is a rematch. Dan, Tom, what do you see going down in the rematch here? You know, it, it, I think it's going to be similar to the first fight, but we're going to see who's the better problem solver. Now, the first time these guys met uh, was in New York City, I believe, uh, in the Garden. Uh, and uh, Ryan Couture was able to win there. He was able to win, though, from clinch control. That's where Gozali's going to really have to fight from. Now, he was able to defend takedowns okay and, and not get submitted. Granted, you know, let, let, let's be honest. If you go back to Gozali's record, who, you know, the guy's well into his 40s. The only people who submitted him, a little trivia for you, Carlos Newton and Ronaldo Jacare Souza. So, I mean... Uh, good guys, granted a little more classic names there if you will, so it'll be a real uh, feather in Couture's cap if he can get the submission and progress from that clinch position, but from what I saw from the first fight, that seemed to be where Couture is able to dictate the fight from, so uh, that, that's going to be Gozali's mission. I don't know what the odds are, I don't think there's odds on this one yet, but I'm going to imagine Couture is going to be favored, and uh, I'll go with him here. Um, would like to see him get the finish, uh, maybe maybe by rear naked choke, Ryan's really good from that position, but uh, obviously my pick's tainted with a little bit of bias. Uh, uh, knowing Ryan and, and coming from that uh, gym, so uh, temper that if you will. But I'll go Couture submission. I think he, I think he gets it done here. Yeah, he's beaten him once. Uh, Gozali is 45 years of age. That's up there. You know, I just don't know that the best Gozali exists at this point. So the best Gozali that night, can he, can he beat uh, Ryan Couture? We'll have to see. But Ryan Couture has one of the best guys that can help him with that type of clinch work. Uh, or dirty boxing, and that's his father, uh, Randy yep. Couture. Even though he's not competing anymore, he hasn't forgotten those techniques. And uh, a little bit of insight, you know, I, I, I go to that gym a lot, and I've seen them work very closely, you know, hand in hand. So I know that they see uh, paths to victory, not only from the first fight, but some of those strengths that, that Randy has been able to pass on to his son. But hey, take nothing away from Ryan, uh, Ryan Couture. Uh, he's solid on the ground and I could definitely see a submission but I think I think once again it'll be a, a decision win uh, versus Gozali but I'm taking Ryan Couture here how about you guys yeah, it's just not a lot of things in Gozali's favor right he's getting older um, we saw the first fight and, and we've seen him since then he hasn't really made too many adjustments on Ryan Couture's side granted the last fight didn't go the way he wanted to but though just being in that gym with the bodies that are there on a daily basis you have to get better and so I just feel like there's more on Ryan's table. It's more in his corner, more in his favor than there is for Gozali. All right, there you have it. There's our Bellator 209 breakdown. We all got Ryan Couture this Friday night. Keep it locked on MMA Junkie. And don't forget, Paramount and DAZN got you covered for the broadcast.